Hey guys, welcome to Lingua Marina. Today we're gonna learn new English slang words. I was at a dinner yesterday with a lot of American entrepreneurs and they've been using a lot of slang words. So I wrote some of them down. And when I came back home, I realized that a lot of them are very new. They are the newest Gen Z lingo. Oh my God, slay, it's giving, it's giving. It's giving what? <laughs> and the best way to remember those words is to watch TikTok videos, which we are going to do today. So today, you are legally watching TikTok videos for educational purposes. Yes, 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 yes! And if anyone comes to your room when you watch this video and tells you, you, you must, must learn new things instead of watching TikTok, you know, you can safely answer that you're actually learning the newest Gen Z lingo. Now let's watch our first video together. What's that? You're not a bougie person? Yeah, it sounds like something a bougie person would say. Okay, sit down, let me talk to you. What? <laughs> Bougie. Birkins, yay. Chanel, nice. Okay, let's replay. Tell me you're bougie without telling me you're bougie. I'll go first. What does bougie mean? Bougie is used to describe someone who's elite or rich and owns expensive things, like this girl. Cookies, well, I met her in an ice cream parlor. For example, you can say she's so bougie, always wearing designer clothes and driving a fancy car. Go touch grass, loser. Hey, Dad, this guy keeps telling me to touch grass. What's grass? You don't know what grass is? No. Touch grass is used when someone has spent too much time online and has lost touch with reality. It means they need to get some fresh air and get back in touch with how the real world works. How many hours have you been playing this game? Go and touch grass or something. I really do need to touch grass. By the way, my favorite way to practice conversational English is by watching content from native speakers. However, it's not enough to simply consume the content. It's important to identify new phrases and grammatical constructions and learn how to use them in real life. Like in this video, I watch TikToks and I give you examples of how to use the new words right away. Learn more about how to stop learning English and start living it in LinguaTrip's English as a Lifestyle Workbook. This is a real handbook for those who want to learn real English and integrate it into your daily life. The workbook includes techniques to help you expand your vocabulary faster, from watching YouTube videos and learning useful phrases to listening to new songs and filling in gaps in lyrics. And that is my favorite exercise ever. Additionally, you'll find numerous tips on using Instagram and reading books to improve your language skills on a daily basis. We created this workbook with amazing teachers who are native speakers here in the US, so it's American English. The link to the workbook will be in the description below this video. Now let's get back to learning English English slang from huh, TikToks. I told my best guy friend that I want to enter my villain era and he laughed right in my face and proceeded to end our decade long friendship because he, and I quote, cannot deal with me being even more of a bitch to him than I already am. Villain era. <laughs> now basically here, a villain can be replaced with some other words. You know what we're not doing? Being in our lazy girl era, okay? Tell me if I could. I am officially Officially in my short hair era. I'm in my good girl era, but I still feel bad. You can usually use era to describe any period of your life. You can say I'm in my English learning era, or like we just heard on TikTok, you might hear people saying I'm in my villain era. I would like to invite you to join me on entering your villain era this fall. This means that you're finally decided to put yourself first instead of pleasing the people around you, and they might begin to paint you as a villain. Rent free. I'm sure you know what rent means. You pay your landlord to rent to live in a house or apartment, just like we do here in California, and we pay a lot of money to a landlord, but that's not the topic of our conversation today. If you don't have to pay it, not our case, you live there rent-free. Lucky you. Show me someone that lives in your house rent-free but always has an attitude. And if a thought or idea is stuck in your head and you say that it lives in your head rent-free, this means you can't stop thinking about it. There is only one video that lives in my head rent-free and this is it. Interesting. Video lives in my head rent-free. 
If you're in love with someone, you can say, I cannot stop thinking about my crush. He lives in my head rent free. The next one is really important because I keep hearing it all the time. That's sus. Sus is an abbreviation for suspicious or suspect and is used when someone does something unusual or questionable. My boyfriend keeps hiding his phone from me. That's sus. I think he's cheating on me. It's not giving. That's sus. The word sus gained popularity as a catchphrase in the online game Among Us. Why do you act so sus -sus -sus? Oh, this one's my favorite in this video. Hmm, it's giving. <laughs> it's giving. <laughs> it's giving. <laughs> okay, it's giving. You say it's giving when someone is giving off a certain vibe. People can get really creative and specific when they use it. For example, it's giving summer in Italy. Or it's giving 90s supermodel. If someone's dressed up like a 90s supermodel and you want to use TikTok language, you say it's giving 90s supermodel. It's giving main character energies graduating for me. Okay, bell pepper burgers are bussin. This is so good. Are bussin. Bussin is what you would say if something was really good. I love that restaurant. The pasta was bussin. Woo! Bussin. College dorm trends I think are chuggy. All right, people are gonna be mad at this one, but these tapestries. It feels like everyone's collectively deciding that long hair is chuggy. And as someone chuggy. who's had the same long hair for the past, I don't even know how many years, like I get it. There is something so effortless about this. Chuggy. Chuggy means the opposite of trendy. It was probably stylish years ago, but is no longer in style. Because she's uh, chuggy, right? You can say chuggy about out of date fashion trends, habits on social media, usage of certain slang words, etc. In Silicon Valley, they could say, driving a Porsche is so chuggy, go buy yourself a Tesla. Nobody says that, by the way, but Tesla is definitely giving Silicon Valley vibes. Sugar factory, do I even need to explain myself? Chuggy. Okay, we're gonna watch next TikTok. Actually, you've heard this word in other TikToks before. Did somebody say... Slay? I use this uh, song for one of my Instagram videos, so... Everybody's asking me how I slay every day. Let me show you. Every hour on the hour, I dance. It makes me feel young and slay. Slay is used to say that something or someone is awesome or looks great. Did you see Rihanna's performance? She absolutely slayed it. Wow, that dress. Slay, girl, slay. Okay, our next... Oh my God, this is so much fun. Don't you know I'm a savage? Savage. Savage describes someone who shows no regret or guilt for what they've done. Savage. Usually it's used when someone does something that makes other people say, are you crazy? Here's an example. I can't believe you told your boss what you really thought of their idea. That was savage. I'm a savage. Yeah. Classy, bougie, ratchet. Yeah. Bougie again. I'm a savage. Yeah. Classy, bougie, ratchet. Spill the tea. Let's get it. Hop off a 16 passenger. This is G5. No, this not a challenger. Big one. She really talking about tea? Why does she want to spill it? Well, this is not quite true. To spill the tea on something is being used when someone shares an especially juicy bit of gossip. Tea stands for the word truth in drag culture. So to spill the tea or tea, letter T, means to tell the truth about something. Those were all the slang words for today. And of course, I can't let you leave without giving you some homework. And your homework is write a comment below this video using one of the words we learned today. And thank you so much for liking this video and subscribing to this channel. I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. Please share this video with your friends who are also learning English. And I'll see you very soon on this channel. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.